Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is healthy and happy. Wow, today, today is the best day. What a gorgeous day. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Don't rub it in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, sometimes I forget about what how things are in the year 2020. Uh, when you say you rub something in, you mean to uh, make someone feel uh, more bad or worse about something. Uh, I honestly didn't mean to do that. Uh, with everything that's going on with you and you and I and our uh, our great grandson, you and I we need to stick together. To stick together means to remain united or mutually loyal, of course. But with all the technology he has, we're at the mercy of our great grandson. Yeah, to be at the mercy of someone. Uh, means to be in a situation uh, that is controlled by someone or something uh, with the power to harm or hurt you. Uh, yeah, you might be right. Uh, we might be up shit creek without a paddle. Whoa, don't use bad words. It's okay to swear a little bit, just as long as you're not repetitive about it. Yeah, our grandson, he's, uh, he's really full of himself. When someone is full of themselves, it means that they are self-centered or conceited. Yeah, he thinks he's king shit of Turd Island. <laughs> <laughs> Who's using bad words now? <laughs> uh, that's used to describe someone who uh, feels as though they are important, uh, even though they most likely aren't. Uh, this, uh, all these swear words kind of remind me of the, uh, the video that we did with um, that Bob the Canadian challenged me to do uh, using bad words uh, that aren't bad words if you use them correctly. Uh, I'll link that video uh, up above and down below in the description. It was a really fun video to make. This conversation is a waste of time. You two are supposed to be making a video for me to teach with. I told you he could hear us. A waste of time is a bad use of someone's time. Who pissed in your cornflakes? That means why are you in a bad mood, but it's not a very polite way to be asking. Uh, do you really think it's a good idea to poke the bear? You're going to be in a world of pain. Honey, honey. Just wait, Mom, I'm busy. That means you're in trouble and you're going to suffer the consequences. Was that his mother? Yeah, I, I think it was. That gives me an idea. It's time to put him in his place. That means to humble him or to re rebuke him. What you got in mind? We'll tell on him. Uh, to tell on someone is to give information about someone's bad behavior or secrets. To who? His mother, of course. How? We're living in the past. So anything we do affects the future, right? I'll write a note telling his mother how he's treating his great-grandfathers with disrespect. Then I'll have someone deliver the note to his mother 100 years from now. Brilliant. You're one smart cookie. That means he's a clever person. Yeah, we're playing the long game, but I think it'll work. Uh, to play the long game means to have a long-term plan, a long-term goal, or to do something now that sets you up for the future. Okay, done. Let's see if it worked. Hey, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Junior! You guys tattled on me? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications and go ahead and smash my face to subscribe to the channel. But not this face, that face. Thanks again, guys. Make sure you show some love down in the comment section. Peace.